I've been working in my state now for this is going into my eighth year, my fourth term. There are a lot of reforms and initiatives that I've been working on that put power back in the hands of New Hampshire citizens. I think the time is now to seize you know, control of the direction our country is going to make sure that we're empowering people in my state. And, you know, I could say, well, I'd run in the future sometime, but it seems like the future is now. Now is the time to get involved, to get engaged. And that goes, you know, for me, but to pe other people in my generation too. Why act later and let things codify and cement themselves perhaps in a way you don't want to see um, when you can be part of the change now? I have a solid track record of legislative accomplishment and I also have a strong network of support across the state uh, which I have um, you know earned or developed over the years just by virtue of working with so many colleagues in the legislature so I think that um, you know when you're trying to communicate with people um, connect with people it's really important that you have a strong network of people that can vouch for your, um, you know, your responsibilities and principles and initiatives and character, and uh, that they're someone that you're someone they'd be proud to see and proud to have represent them. So that's invaluable. Um, I don't have any particular, you know, heroes or idols, um, but you know, pretty much anyone that's been good at communicating what I consider our shared values and, you know, as someone of character and enthusiasm, inspiration, it'd be nice if they, you know, were a, a younger member, you know, or someone with a forward-looking perspective but understanding in retrospect what it is that has made our country exceptional. That's, that's the kind of person that I would love to have advocating for me. We talked about this earlier <laughs> at length. Obviously, it's a complex issue. I, look, we need a we're a nation of laws, we have rules, we have uh, systems and processes and pathways. I think we need to be sure that we're doing something that's fair, that's best for our country and that you know doesn't um, give unfair advantages to one group over another. So I'm willing to look at all the options, promote um, suggestions and ideas and find solutions. I'm not sure. Uh, he's been around the state. He's now a resident, so it's great to have him. Um, I, I don't know. I frankly, you know, haven't had tea with him <laughs> recently and can't read his mind any better than apparently anybody else can. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I've had a variety of um, positions. Obviously, we spend a lot of time in the legislature. So, I, you know, I don't have a nine to five in one particular field, but I've worked in areas from higher ed administration to cybersecurity and policy and business development to research to um, international um, institutions developing a foundation in Hispaniola, Haiti and the Dominican Republic um, and you know a variety of other things. But the, my one constant, I guess you could say, is that I've been teaching at Phillips Exeter.